لخرافة دينية مقيتة مصممة للعدوان على مشاعر أمة كاملة. During a speech commemorating the 100th day of the Gaza conflict, Hamas spokesperson Abu Ubaida made a surprising yet revealing statement that garnered little attention. Among the reasons given for the October 7th massacre in Israel, he mentioned Zionists bringing red cows to the Holy Land. The Al-Aqsa Mosque holds immense religious significance for Muslims worldwide, and any perceived violation of its sanctity would undoubtedly provoke strong reactions. In their effort to rebuild the temple, devoted believers refer to the Book of Numbers, Chapter 19. The Lord said to Moses and Aaron, this is a requirement of the law that the Lord has commanded. Tell the Israelites to bring you a red heifer without defect or blemish and that has never been under a yoke. Give it to Eleazar the priest. It is to be taken outside the camp and slaughtered in his presence. Then Eleazar the priest is to take some of its blood on his finger and sprinkle it seven times toward the front of the tent of meeting. While he watches, the heifer is to be burned, its hide, flesh, blood and intestines. The priest is to take some cedar wood, hyssop and scarlet wool and throw them onto the burning heifer. After that, the priest must wash his clothes and bathe himself with water. He may then come into the camp, but he will be ceremonially unclean till evening. The man who burns it must also wash his clothes and bathe with water, and he too will be unclean till evening. A man who is clean shall gather up the ashes of the heifer and put them in a ceremonially clean place outside the camp. They are to be kept by the Israelite community for use in the water of cleansing, it is for purification from sin. These cows were destined to be burned on a specific piece of land overlooking the Mount of Olives in Jerusalem. Ubaida emphasized that the ritual must be conducted facing the exact location where the historic Second Temple once stood, until its destruction by the Romans in 70 AD. Since the time of Moses, only nine such sacrifices have been performed. According to the rabbis, when the cows are sacrificed, they will enter the stage of Dajjal, or their awaited Messiah. Muslims will see through their deception and lies and won't be manipulated. In Islam, the Dajjal will claim to be the Messiah and perform miraculous feats to deceive people into following him. However, his true nature as a false prophet will be revealed to believers through various signs and warnings provided by Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. The emergence of the Dajjal is seen as a significant event signaling the end times and the coming of Judgment Day in Islam. Muslims are advised to seek refuge in Allah and remain steadfast in their faith to protect themselves from the deception of the Dajjal. The red cows are five red Angus heifers brought in from Texas in September 2022, facilitated by a collaborative effort between a Christian ministry named Bonet Israel and the Temple Institute in Jerusalem. Since last year, one of them has been disqualified, leaving four remaining. For some Jews and Christians, these animals hold significance as they are believed to play a crucial role in the reconstruction of the ancient Jewish temple in Jerusalem and in heralding the arrival of the Messiah. They believe that only with that offering and the destruction of Al-Aqsa Mosque can the temple rise again. Sacrificing red heifers at the Al-Aqsa Mosque would deeply offend Muslims. The mosque is one of the holiest sites in Islam, and any non-Islamic rituals or practices conducted within its premises would be seen as a desecration of the sacred space. Are you sick of haram content popping up on YouTube and social media? Well, we have a solution. Check out the One Islam TV app, featuring music-free Islamic content. Check it out by downloading from these platforms, or visit www.oneislam.tv.